Lucas 17. And the verse 11 says, Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. Three places are there. One is a Jerusalem, one is a Samaria, one is a Galilee. Three places are there. For an example, Chandigarh, Haryana, and the Punjab. Three are your neighboring places. Three are the neighboring places. Here also three places are there. One is the Jerusalem, one is the Samaria, one is the Galilee. Why Jesus was traveling? What's the purpose of Jesus' travel? Everyone is traveling. You are going for your business. Pastor is going for his, uh, his ministry. So everyone is traveling. My dear brothers and sisters, every day when you travel, you, you want to know why you are traveling. Are you traveling alone? Are you traveling with the Jesus? Are you traveling with the Holy Spirit? When you travel, travel with the Holy Spirit. Travel with the Jesus. That is a Christian family. If you want to be a Christian family, every day travel with the God. Traveling with the God is a beautiful time in your life. Because when you travel with the God, you can see the miracle in your life. Because in my life, I can say one thing with you people. I was traveling with my God. So that every day I was reaching the people with the gospel. If I not travel with the God, how can I meet you? Today, how can I come to your home? Today, when I wake up from my bed, I did not plan that I will come to your family today evening. But God has a plan. So that God brings your family. Because your home is going to change. Your village is going to change. Wherever Jesus travel, the place of change, the village change, the people change, everyone has changed. So whenever you travel, the place should be changed. That is a Christian life. Really, I want, really, I wonder that when I came to Rampala, I did not think that I will do this much of ministry. But God has a plan. He take me to different places with the help of the pastors. So God appointed the pastors for me to do the ministry. Because there are so much apostles in Ambala. But I stayed with the three apostles only. I traveled for the ministry for the three apostles only. See how beautiful that one. What right now I am preaching to you, God God has went to the three village, three creatures, crossing to the three places. So my travel also with the three pastors. One is a Sundar pastor. One is a Sikhan Bal pastor. And with a sister. These three people used me. This is by the God. Because coming days, this pastor's ministry is God going to change. Because God, because God want to do something in their ministry. So that God take to their church. So God put the burden. So they take me to the different places. So it's by the God. It's how it is possible. Because I want to travel with my Jesus. 
When you travel with the Jesus, you can see this miracle. Through this journey, how many villages I went? How many homes I went? How many churches I went? When I come to the Ampala, I went to other states also. To the Delhi, to the Pancha, to the Himachal, to the Uttarakhand. See how beautiful that one. Because when you start to do the ministry, God will start to do the ministry with you. Shall I say one more time with you? When you start to do the ministry, God will start to do the ministry with you. So this is the ministry we want to work with the God. More time we are time we are more trying to work with the people. More time we are trying to work with the people. But work with the God. When you work with the God, you can see a good result in that. So my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was traveling to the Jerusalem. He was crossing the borders between the Samaria and the Galilee. And when he was going, what's happening? He was going into a village. I want to clear one thing with you. If anyone do the ministry in the village, people will not like that one. People will not like that one. What they will think? You are doing a village ministry. So you are doing a poor ministry. How the people are thinking? See the Jesus. What's written in the Bible? He was traveling in the village. Because Jesus loves the village. In our India, more than 7 lakh villages. 7 lakh villages in our India. If one village, one church, 7 villages, 7 churches. So we want to pray, God give the 7 lakh pastors for the 7 lakh villages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we won't be like that. God bring your pastor to my village. He wants to stay in here. He wants to do the ministry in that. So much of people did not know of the Jesus. If one pastor stay in your village, he will pray, he will share the gospel, and God start to change your village. Your village should be changed for the heavenly kingdom, not for this world. Your people wants to come to the heaven. That's why God keep you in this place. So you people want to pray for your village. Jesus, this is my village. God, you want to touch my village. So much of people did not know about you. God, I want to see the changes in my village. Every spirit working in my village should be go in the name of the Jesus. God, I want to see the harvest in my village. God, send a pastor to my village. So when you start to pray, your village will start to change. So you want to take a burden for your village. So you want to grow. If you start a business, what you start to do? You start to put your work in there. You will work hard. Day and night you will work hard. Why? Because your business wants to develop. The same thing. Work for the heaven also. Pray for that one. God will use you people. Because God wants to use you people. Because God needs the foolish people. 
God did not need the educated people. God needs you only. By you the God's name will be glorified. That is the plan of the God. That's what the Bible says. Obey to the Bible. Do the ministry likewise in the Bible. Then you can see the changes in your ministry. See the Jesus. He was going in the village. Then you go to the village. What's happening in there? The Bible says. The verse told says. As he was going into a village. Ten men who had leprosy near him. They stood at a distance. And called out in a loud voice. Jesus master have pity on us. वो गांव के अंदर जो प्रवेश किया तो वहां क्या हुआ किसी गांव में प्रवेश करते समय इसे दस कोड़े मिले उन्होंने दूर खड़े होकर मुझे शब्द से कहा हे ईश्वर हे स्वामी हम पर दया कर हाउ मेनी लेप्रोसी पीपल आर देयर दे वहां लोग थे कोड़ी जो चैन पीपल आर देयर दस लोग थे माय डियर बस सिस्टर्स मेरे प्रिय भाई बहनों आई वाज टॉकिंग विद यू मैं आपसे बात कर रहा यू आर कंसंट्रेटेड हियर एंड देयर मैं आप यहां वहां ध्यान को ना लगाएं माय डियर बस एंड सिस्टर्स प्रभु When Jesus came to his village, how many leprosy people are there? Ten people are there. How many leprosy people are there? Ten people are there. What they say? Pity on us. They are they are calling the Jesus because they need the deliverance. They need the deliverance. They know that only Jesus can heal my disease. The same thing. Call the Jesus. Jesus, you come to my village. My village want to change. My village want to deliver. My village want to receive the Jesus. These people are calling the Jesus. The leprosy people are calling the Jesus. Pity on us. Pity on us. When you call, God will hear. What the next verse says? One of them, when he saw he was healed, come back praising the God in a loud voice. What the Bible says? Shall I read one more time? Luke seventeen fourteen and fifteen says. When he saw them, he said, "Go and show yourself to the priest." And as they went, they was clean. One of them, when he was saw he was clean, healed, come back and praising the God in the loud voice. से एक या देखकर कि मैं चंगा हो गया ऊंचे शब्द से परमेश्वर की बढ़ाई करता हुआ लौटा व्हाट हैपनिंग क्या हुआ 10 पीपल केम 10 लोग थे जीसस हील यीशु ने चंगा किया एंड व्हाट हैपेंड क्या हुआ इन द 10 10 ओनली वन रिटर्न बैक टू द जीसस एक व्यक्ति केवल धन्यवाद करने के लिए वापस आया वेयर इज द नाइन पीपल नौ लोग कहां चले गए टुडे सो मेनी पीपल रिसीव द ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम द गॉड So many people healed by the God. But where are they? What they are doing? And Jesus asking, only one is coming. Remaining nine, where are they? What the Bible says? Seventeen. The verse seventeen says, Jesus asked, where not all the ten clean? Where are the other nine? And eighteen says, "Has no one returned to give the praise to God? He expects this from me." और सोला देखेंगे और यीशु के पांव पे मुंह के बल गिरकर उसका धन्यवाद करने लगे और वह सामने था इस इस पर यीशु ने कहा क्या दसों सुधना हुए तो फिर वह नौ कहा है क्या इस बर्देसी को छोड़ कोई और ना निकला जो परमेश्वर की बढ़ाई करता तब उसने उसे कहा Hallelujah, my dear brothers and sisters. When Jesus came to the village, ten leprosy people came. They shouted to the Jesus, pity on us. Jesus cleared that one. Jesus healed. 
and Jesus told show to your priest they went to the priest but one only written come back to the Jesus and Jesus asked I healed the ten people where are the nine people only one you came and Jesus told what he told the nine in verse says then he said to him rise and go your faith has made you well today people receive the blessing from the God they forget people receive the healing from the God they forget people receive the blessing from the God they forget the God my dear brothers and sisters do not forget the God the Bible clearly says nine people go away but only one came back to the Jesus so you want to be like that so you want to thank the God you want to praise the God still up to your death still up to your death if you do that one and God loves you more than, than any other thing this is what right now we needed in our Christian life my dear brothers and sisters Jesus is talking with you people getting the blessing only is not from the God continuously want to live with the God that is the main thing some people will say the testimony I was being the cancer God has healed on me I was in the financial problem God changed my financial problem I go in the suicide condition but God changed my life you are hearing a lot of testimonies in the social media in the YouTube in the Facebook a lot of people are saying that right everything is okay you have your God has given done your miracle in your life but what you done for the God are you like that leprosy people the nine people get away from the God they, they receive the blessing from the God but the nine more from the God only one came to the Jesus how you want to be faithful to the God faithful to the God we want to faithful a God do you know why God has given the food for me God gives the place to stay God gives the home God gives the children God gives everything for me more than that more than that I was breathing today am I right it's, it's a big blessing I can breathe how many people are in the mortuary how many people died but we still we are breathing my dear brothers and sisters my dear brothers and sisters great blessing we are living thanks to the God that what I want to talk with you people be faith to the God when you faith to the God God will bless your life